I got my nail glue because I didn't go to the nail salon, so I'm gonna do my own nails. Where are the nails? This one's like glued shut, I think. This one I can't even use anymore. But yeah, I got these off Etsy a long time ago, so I'm finally gonna use them.
Hey guys, so it's the day after the concert and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of like what my experience was. So the concert was a lot of fun. My seat, I think I was probably closer to the stage this year than I was last year. There definitely were some pros and cons though. One of the biggest cons, obviously, I think when you have pit is that your view may not always be perfect. Whenever Twice was on like the main part of the stage, you know, the bigger part of the stage where they're doing like full on performances, my view was like awful. <laughs> there was this girl in front of me, like she was, a lot taller than me she's probably like average height i'm only like five two and so she was like i couldn't really see because she was so much taller than me and she was like right in front of me and then whenever she would kind of move to the side there was like someone else who was even taller than her and like it's no one's fault i mean it's when you get hit you know you never know who's gonna be in front of you and how much taller they're gonna be and i mean it's not their fault that they're tall you know what i mean um, but it did kind of suck that I hardly had a good view of like their main performances on stage on like the bigger part of the stage which is why I don't have a whole lot of concert clips of like their you know them on like the main stage because I just didn't have that great of a view of it I call it like a t-shaped stage I don't know if that's what it's called or not but it was like this t-shaped I was on the left hand side of it for some reason I thought I was gonna be like way way more on the side but I was actually like I don't like I had like I don't know I feel like I was in a really good spot though um so whenever they did come like closer to you know us on the stage it was amazing I like got to see them up close um yeah I got to see them so I also had sound check and so I was able to see them during sound check as well and they were all so much closer during sound check as well um I would say that I felt like they didn't like, I feel like the right side of the stage of like the T shape part of the stage, you know, but like the opposite side of me, I feel like they definitely got more interaction. I feel like they were definitely more on that side. There were some full performances on that side as well. Um, I don't know if it was just like bigger on that side. I don't know. Thought is my bias and I hardly got to see her up close. But I did get some photos of her, like some video clips of her when she was on my side of the stage, so it's okay. Um, the individual performances too, they were amazing. Honestly, they were amazing. Um, I think, <laughs> I mean, obviously I, I wish that I didn't have to pay as much money as I did to see them. You know, no one wants to pay a lot of money for concert tickets, but I do think it was worth the money. Like, I obviously I'm gonna be making this money back and this was an experience for me and that's why I don't regret whenever I do buy pricey concert tickets because it's a whole experience um, I had a lot of fun so it was I think it was worth it now for merch oh my gosh that was a whole thing so I got dropped off out by myself by the way I got dropped off I had to walk all the way to like gate 9d I don't know where I was maybe near like six like gate six or something um i was really far it was probably like a good 10 minute walk at least and i finally got to my gate um i did like the check-in that i was supposed to do for sound check and they gave like a few gift bags which i can show you in a bit after it was actually a really quick check-in um and then after that i went to merch which was really long Thankfully, I wasn't I was waiting for like maybe a good minute and the girl behind me is talking to her friend and she goes She's like she was talking about how VIP has like the pre merch shopping and I was like I waited for a few seconds to go by I was like registering this I was like is that true because like I don't see anyone here with like a VIP badge who you know is in merch in the merch line so I turn around and I'm just like sorry did you say that there was like <laughs> did you say that there was um did you say that VAP had like their own merch you know and she was like yeah well I think so like that's what people were saying so I was like oh okay like I'm gonna go check she was like oh yeah like I'll go and hold your spot which I never saw her again because they did have merch and VIP um I did see in the email that it said like pre-merch shopping but I was like wasn't there like merch all day long like you know what I mean I went through the check-in already then the other check-in where like you show your concert ticket and stuff um we just like walked in through that like metal detector thing they didn't like really search through the bags or anything 
Honestly, I probably could have taken my fanny pack and they probably wouldn't have said anything about it. I didn't get to take my fanny pack, you guys. It wasn't allowed, but they probably wouldn't have said anything. Cause I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they were really checking. I got to like the VIP area um, and then my section was like floor B2, I think. And so I went up to like that area um, where you walk up the stairs and there's like merch and area, like an area where you could take photos at. And then some people are already waiting in line for a sound check. And so I went to go stand in merch, right? It was like maybe around 3 p.m. at this time, maybe a little after three. And so I'm standing in line. There's like a few different lines. I think I chose the longest line to stand in. And I remember the people behind me, I was like, oh, well, I think like merch stops at 4 p.m. But then the people behind me were saying that it stopped at 3.40. And I was like listening and I was like, okay, but like they're not actually going to just like shut it all down at 340 right i was thinking that and they did as soon as it hit 340 they stopped so then we had to go wait and stand in line for sound check but anyways i waited in line for sound check and they let us in a i heard they were gonna let us in at 4 30 because it was at 5 but then they let us in like at maybe 4 10 or 4 15. they were really strict about like no filming you know you can't have your camera out um they came out they say moonlight i think tt i'm already forgetting there were two other songs that they did and i don't even remember what they were but i had a lot of fun during soundcheck <laughs> they were great songs though i don't remember what they were i just completely blanked about it um but yeah, so that was a great experience in the concert itself. The concert started maybe around like 7.45, like around 7.45, 7.50. Um, it ended around 10.30. I didn't get to the car until 11.30, a whole hour later. So at the SoFi Stadium, when you're in the pit section, apparently there's like, I know when I was at the SoFi Stadium for a different concert, I wasn't in the pit. I was at the level close, close to the pit though. And we had, escalators like we did have to do some walking but then there were also escalators that we were able to take as well um to get us back up to the top floor so we can leave but then for pit there's none of that there's no escalator or at least none that i knew of um yeah so we had to walk down like these ramps so think of like a parking garage and how you have to go up all these levels and you have to go back down all those levels. It was basically like that. It must have been like six different levels that we went up or that we went down when we got there and then that we went up. Yeah, it must have been like six different levels. Oh my gosh, it took forever. It was like jam packed. As soon as we entered the first ramp area, like I just got so, I was I was just seeing all those people fill up that area. I was like, oh my goodness this is awful <laughs> like there has to be a more organized way of getting us out of here um surprisingly though it wasn't bad i mean it did take a lot of time but you know nothing bad happened when getting out of that area so that was great um there wasn't like any pushing or shoving or anything like that so that's good and then once i got out you know into like the actual like floor area oh well, not floor area but you know to like the street area um and i was trying to get back home it literally just shut off so once I got to like the street area, you know, I was trying to find my sister, like we're trying to figure out where to meet up. And basically I wound up walking like a good 10 minutes, but trying to like figure out where I was and stuff like that. It was so complicated. There were so many people. Some people were just like standing in the way. I'm just like, you're literally on this, like on the walk, like on the path, you're just standing dead center in the path with like a group of people like move and so yeah there was like a lot of that going on i was just like oh my goodness you know you're tired after a concert you just want to get home you're hungry i think you know and so yeah i got home around like 1 30 ish oh gosh and it was like sprinkly i was like this would happen to me raining while i'm driving oh my goodness the thing that i got was this hoodie it was 75 dollars what it looks like I got a little bit of makeup on it. <laughs> and then I got this shirt. They ran out of mediums, but I got this shirt. So I had to get a small in it. And I don't know if it's gonna be comfy in like the neck and like shoulder area. So yeah, I don't know how comfy that's gonna be. 
and then it came with this lanyard right here it's this cute VAP lanyard. I love it. I think I like it even more than last year. I just, I always love the glitter that they put on it. <clears throat> and then of course my wristband, I was able to just slip it on off. So there's my wristband. It's so cute. I got freebies too, but this is what I got from Soundcheck. Okay, I love this. It's a luggage tag. It's so cute. Like, look at this. It's so cute, I love it. I think these are magnets. This is ready to be twice. Twice ready to be. And I got this, which I don't know, I think it's like a passport holder. I thought it was like, you know, like what you put your car info in, but I think it's like a passport holder. And last but not least, oops, there's this. It's a towel. So yeah, that was really cute. I had my, press on nails yesterday I had them on and I wasn't able to open this bag at all so I had to wait until this morning to do it surprisingly those nails stayed on all day they didn't pop off or anything so the glue I used was so amazing um I have one more thing you know I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the Pedro Pascal um I'm actually oh there was so much confetti during Nyon's pop performance and like I'm just randomly finding it around here and there I'm a little sad that I didn't get any Pedro Pascal freebies you know the photo cards but it's okay I did get two other freebies I got this one this and it has like this on the back it's really cute and then I got this a Pochaco I don't know if this is a ring or like what I think it might be but it's so cute so thank you for the freebies and then I also have the banner, which is in my bag, but they have like a bunch of them just lying out. So yeah, those were, that was everything that I got <laughs> from the concert. I spent like a hundred, I spent like $555 on my concert ticket. Yay, angel numbers. <laughs> but it was worth the experience. And I spent like $137 on this hoodie and with the shirt that I showed you. And the pizza there. $18. It was not worth $18. For $18, they need to have better taste in pizza, okay? It wasn't bad, but it looked way more delicious than it tasted. I mean, obviously it's overpriced, but I've had better pizza than that. I would compare it to movie theater pizza, to be honest. Like, it's not bad, you know? Like, it fills you up, but like, um, but yeah, oh, the merch. Okay, so for merch, I went after sound checks. We had like our own little area in pit. It literally went up the first ramp and like turned the corner. It took like an hour and like 10 minutes. So it wasn't too bad. And I was just like, okay, I have to get merch after sound check and I have to eat because I literally had only eaten breakfast. So that's what I did right after sound check. 